My BJJ says, what does it imply if triglyceride over HDL ratio is very good? Less than one. 52 triglycerides, 60 HDL, A1C is 4.9%, but OGTT shows 170 after one hour. I assume I have IR from OGTT, but wouldn't elevated triglyceride and low HDL be expected? That is a fantastic question, BJJ. And I see that all the time. And here's what's happening. You obviously are managing your natural ways of decreasing the triglyceride over HDL ratio. You're evidently doing very well with your carbs. You're managing your exercise. And you may be taking some prescriptions that help in that space as well. But the bottom line is you still have insulin resistance. So what happens is when you do challenge your body, your metabolism, by taking that 75 grams or 100 grams of glucose for that OGTT, oral glucose tolerance test, you're still demonstrating that your cell membranes, mostly your muscle cell membranes, but also your liver, are resistant to insulin and don't pull that blood sugar into the cell membranes as well as they should. But again, Given your other numbers, your triglyceride over HDL ratio, it's really clear that you're doing a lot of things right to manage this problem. My BJJ, given those numbers, I would guess that the rest of your numbers look pretty good. I would guess that your cardiovascular inflammation panel does not show significant inflammation going on. Now, one of the questions that I get, and it's one of the most common conversations I have as I'm seeing patients is, Okay, doc, I've gotten all that straightened out, but my HDL is not there yet and my LDL is clearly not there yet. So what do I do? Be patient. HDL and triglycerides both tend to improve significantly and fairly early within a few weeks to a couple of months based on improving your lifestyle and especially dropping carbs, especially diet. LDL can take a while. And Unless you lost a significant amount of weight, you'll often not change your OGTT. In other words, as I just discussed with BJJ, you still have that insulin resistance, but because you're not continuing to push glucose into, those, into your bloodstream, you're not having that challenge associated with those resistant insulin receptors. Great topic. Thank you so much, BJJ, for bringing it up. Bill H., Dr. Brewer, my recent triglyceride over HDL equals 1.1. But July, APOB was 136. Thoughts? I'm thinking you'd recommend a CIMT. I would recommend a CIMT, but my first thought on what you described to me is something that I just mentioned a few minutes ago when uh, BJJ was sharing his own numbers. As I said before, as you improve your lifestyle, as you decrease those carbs, the first thing you'll start seeing in terms of this cholesterol panel is that improvement of triglyceride over HDL. Triglycerides will begin to drop. As they drop, you'll quit burning up so much of your HDL, especially that large fluffy HDL. It takes longer to move that LDL panel, that LDL uh, bell curve over to the right to shift it. That one just takes, for some people, they never get there. For other people, We'll get that early impact on triglycerides. Then we'll start getting that a little bit later, but still early impact on HDL. Some of these people, it'll take months to start seeing that shift to the right of the LDL numbers. Thank you. It was a great question. So I'd like to talk with you a minute about the webinar. People don't understand what the webinar is. It's actually a great way to get some access to healthcare that you're just not going to get any other way. You actually get the lab tests yourself for at a local lab, a Quest lab near you, for the inflammation panel and the OGTT and the insulin survey. These are things, inflammation and prediabetes, that your doctor just does not know about. And here's the thing, Harvard Health and many others have said, look, sudden death is not always so sudden. The Hollywood picture that it's a bolt out of the blue is 
not realistic. It's more like real lightning preceded by clouds, wind, and rain. Stop that metabolic storm before the lightning strikes. And here's where that metabolic storm comes from. It's inflammation, and it has to do usually with prediabetes. So again, we actually get labs. We go over them in the webinar, and then you can start finding out how you can prevent that heart attack others said that you couldn't even predict. We can show you how. Thanks.